For the next part of this challenge, you're going to need to have Adobe Acrobat. And you are also going to need to have your Photoshop folder open. Remember that yours is in your school's folder. Okay. Now, in here, you're, you have a few things. Number one, you have some stuff from the previous two Photoshop challenges. Obviously, you're not going to add those. Um, but we do need to add all of the files, the originals and the corrected ones for the color correction. So I am, if you notice what I did, notice that I clicked on kind. I adjusted it by kind so that all of my JPEGs are together and all of my Photoshop files are together because it does need to be the JPEGs that go in the PDF. You cannot put a Photoshop file in there. Now, what we're going to do is this. We have three assignments or three documents that we did under color correction skills. Uh, auto correction, curves, and hue and saturation. Then in the on your owns, we had four we did here. An on your own auto, an on your own curves, on your own hue and saturation, and then you did an on your own and whatever method you chose from the list um, in the image adjustment layer. Okay. Now, you also have four original photos, what they looked like before you made the color corrections to these four. Then you have an original here and one original here. Remember that these two use the same photo, so there's only one original. So you have a total of 13 photos that you are going to combine into this uh, PDF file. If I go into my Photoshop and I look and I find all my photos and I can see that it's 13 items. Okay, So we're going to put them in this order as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to um, Acrobat, which I thought I had. There it is. I knew I had it open. I have it open, and I am going to combine these files into a PDF. And just like we did for our scavenger hunt, I'm going to locate those files, and I can drag them over. Now, before I start clicking Combine Files, I need to organize this, okay? Because I have the first one that we're looking at is Auto Correction. So that was the original one of the cat that you downloaded or that you got from Poland Pickup. So that's here, and I'm going to move that up to the very front. So that's the original, and there is my fixed one. The next one is going to be curves, and that is the one of the little girl. Okay, so I'm going to come down here, and I'm choosing curves. I'm going to move that up to number three position, and then I need to find curves, which is right here. Now, notice that I couldn't tell what it was until I drug this out. I can adjust the width of those columns right up here. Okay, so I've got auto correction, the fixed one, curves, and then the fixed curves, and then I have the fixed hue and saturation. Okay, that was the next one right here. Then I have the on your owns. Okay, now I know that my auto was this cheerleading squad. So I'm going to move this right there. I know that curves, which is the next one, was my softball team. So I'm going to move that up there. Then I know that my hue and saturation was my dad and Reagan. And so I move that up. And that leaves me with this one, which was my uh, basketball team, right there. So now I have them in order, and I can hit Combine Files. And because they're all JPEGs, they should all convert successfully 
If you added a Photoshop file, it will not convert successfully. You'll get an error message. Give it a few more seconds to go through. And then I'll show you. Okay. Now, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to click on these two pieces of paper, paper, ugh, papers, pages, that shows us the thumbnails. So this shows us the order of the files. So here's my original and my fixed. Original, fixed, and then my second fixed. Okay. Then I go and I have my original fixed, original, fixed, original, fixed, original, fixed, and there I have my 13 photos. Now, if you notice that any of your photos are out of place, let's say that my original one of that cat was way down here, you notice what I did? All I have to do is drag it and drop it, and it puts it in order. So if any of yours are out of order, you can rearrange them using these thumbnails. Just remember that the original comes before the fixed one of, of every case. Okay, And it's important that you get them in the same order that they are listed here on the website. Those three up here and these four down here. So make sure you keep that open. When you go to do a file and save as a PDF, remember that it tries to go to documents. We don't want to save it in documents. Okay? We actually want to save this in our folder in schools, and you can save this in Photoshop, where you can name this period, underscore, your last name, underscore, color correction. Okay, and that way you have all of the original photos that you started with, the fixed ones, and the final one that combines all of them into one that you'll be able to upload to your Google Sites.